me Jay Spec back at you with another video. This time is CS day three, the last day. CS day three, the last day. I'm here at the BMW boot outside by South Hall. As you can see right there back there. And we're gonna cover that color changing BMW right there. And we're gonna go check out the inside, see what's up. Um, yeah, since I didn't cover this during my day one CES video, so we're gonna check this out, right? Let's get yeah. they are. Their famous BMW color changing vehicle here for 2022 CES here in Las Vegas at BMW booth. As you can see, the color changed from white to gray to black to silver. Right? That's why I've been um, just focusing on this. Even the wheel. If you notice that, the wheel also color changing. It's pretty neat stuff. The only car company that has a color changing paint, basically, throughout the whole CES. So, basically, if you look at closely, it's actually like something electronics. It's just like a wrap. Can you notice that? It, the paint is not really, really changing. It's just a wrap that goes on top of it. That's actually caused the change of color. Right? If you look at closely. And this car is beat up. You can see some scratches on the bottom. See if you notice the color changing is actually from the wrap so it's not an actual paint that color changing it's just the wrap if you can see that all those triangle right there see i'm gonna do a walk around from the front here Pretty cool stuff. It's cool though, but it's actually just the wrap, right? And those of you that are wondering what kind of BMW is this, this is just a plain BMW. Nothing really to respect about it. If you look at it, like I said, this triangle wrap that caused the change of color. Right? And that's the 360 wraparound on this BMW X Flow. Now let me do the thumbnail. Now let's go inside, shall we? Inside the actual BMW boot. 
they got a lounge area right there. And that line is actually for this vehicle right here. It's about 35 minutes, 40 minutes long where I'm at, so I'm gonna just skip it all, all together. And I'm just gonna pick it from here and video it real quick. Which car is this one? This is the IX. The IX, the newest one? Yes, yeah, it will be out later this year. When is gonna be out, this car? I think, is it July? Is that when they usually release vehicles? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm it's not sure. Expert, but it is this year, yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. So the inside. So basically, they got a... Like, how big is that screen? 8K 31 inch widescreen. Nice. As you can hear that, this is the BMW iX. On the back of it, it has a flip down 31 inch 8K monitor widescreen. And that's pretty much it. You just sit down and watch. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Pretty cool boot. I got all this fancy stuff right here. Thank you. Mention of real. CES 2022 BMW boot outside by South Hall. Basically, that's a bunch of chair right here. You just sit down and like just relax, enjoy. Basically, this room is 360 with all this combination, all about it, right? Basically, it's a bunch of graphics. Genius. Go to the next aisle. And that's pretty much it. That is BMW boots for you. We're gonna go outside where all those let's go check out their cars. This is gotta be their EV cars, right?
This is their BMW iX. There's my trunk space, basically. iX M60. They're plugged in. This is their um, EV version. Right? Interesting. The next one, another iX with a different version of the inside color. Basically the same car, just different um, interior color. What? Knob control right there. Knob control right there. Let me see what's inside. Nothing really. Knob control. Steering wheel pretty cool. Look at this. The light right there. Off box right here, right? Oh. And this is where you're gonna test drive with the new IX. So let's go check a test drive, shall we? Let's go ride this thing. Stay tuned, I'm gonna start videoing again once I'm in. I'm gonna enter this IX vehicle. How you doing? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Welcome. This is you guys' newest product, correct? Exactly. So did Jan already told you something about the function? No, not at all. Not at all, then I will do. Do you want? Do you mind if I video this? No, no, you can. For my YouTube yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna video you, okay? Exactly. You can talk in the background. Yeah. So, can you tell me more about it since Jen didn't give me any information? Yeah. So it's a new parking function from BMW. It's okay. called the Maneuver Assistant. And okay. what you can do if you have difficult parking situations daily, for example at work or at home. Okay. Then you have to drive it or to record this parking scenario one time. Okay. And the function will then recording your steering angle, your gear changes, everything. And every time you're coming back to the starting position of this path or anywhere along the path, you will get the replay offer. And then you can just activate it and the function will drive automatically the path exactly how you have recorded it. Okay, so it's not autonomous really. You have to actually record it for them to do it. Exactly, after. I have to record it and teach it once, but afterwards then it's automatically and driving the path automated okay um, how you have recorded it so just like how other company does it they record like you know they got all this vehicle recording the whole thing so this is pretty much the same thing but you record it one time and you should remember exactly. always so what happened if there is obstacle let's say there's another yeah. there's like a little thing along the way would it For example, stop someone would pass by or there would be an obstacle in the driveway it would stop exactly. it will stop okay it tell you remove the obstacle and then you have a pop-up here in the display if you press continue after the obstacle is removed it will continue okay and if there is a bucket or a ball or anything it will stop right yep. automatically all right well, let's so, do this buddy just activate it releasing the braking pedal okay and then the vehicle is taking over control so it accelerates by itself decelerates also steers by itself of course uh -huh. in the display you can see the recorded path and also the path the function is following so all this autonomous driving so basically this car got this future where you record and just remember the pad just like what's your name sir felix just like felix said pretty awesome car do you know the pricing for this gonna be felix the pricing yes so it will be um part of a package parking assistant professional okay and it will be i cannot tell you the exact price yeah, yeah. this is just a ballpark right yeah $1,000 roundabout this option there. 
But you will also I'm definitely get, gonna put it on there. You also will get updates on the other parking functions which are available then. Okay. So now we are come to the stop, right? Yeah. This is where, let's now say, the parking brake is put it in, so you can just go out of the vehicle and lock it, and you would be good to go. Oh, automatically? Yeah. It's okay. Completely finished now. Okay. Now we have recorded the second path, which is reversing us back to the lot. Now it's reversing by itself. So you're able to record 10 different paths. Okay. One path can be up to 200 meter long. Okay. And I mean, in our showcase, we are showing driving forward, right? And driving backward. But uh -huh. if you have any difficult parking situation where you need multiple strokes, okay, like a three point maneuver, whatever, then of course it will be do it as you did it and change the gears automatically. So this is working as well. So you can record up to 10 times, up to 200 meters. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, in total 600 meters, but one path can be up to 200 meter long. Okay. Now my qu next question to you, this is the M60 series, correct? Exactly, yeah. So the top of the line? Yeah. When is it gonna come up? I mean, it was released for two days ago here on the CES. Okay. So it will be available in the next couple of months. But maybe in summertime where you guys always release your car, right? Yeah. You yeah. know the pricing is gonna be? Uh, no, I mean, it's always depending on, on the options you're choosing. Let's see so this I package. I don't know. I don't know exactly which options this vehicle has here. Okay. But um, it will be over 100,000. Okay, um, sounds good. And then this is fully EV, correct? Yeah. It's and then how, how many, once was 100%, how many range is it? Um, I think it's around about uh, 580 kilometers. 580 kilometers, that's in miles, right? So, what does that mean in miles? Know. Around about 300 miles, I guess. 300 miles. Okay, sounds good. By the way, guys, this is all ballpark, okay? Felix doesn't really, really no but then you know he's kind enough to tell us a little bit more information about it so thank you felix for your information you're welcome you have, have a, a wonderful day, day. enjoy you your too. show bye and bye so do i have a good day it's the bottom over there and the bottom right here to open the door sounds good you see that green stuff it's mean ev thank you <laughs> bye bye but